Morgan, that's right. A whopping $3.2 billion worth of crypto was stolen last year. That's according to the firm Chainalysis, which has a new report out on it this morning. That's a 516 percent increase over the year before in thefts, and that's a huge number. And so is this. 72 percent of the stolen funds were taken from so-called DeFi platforms. Those are the decentralized finance services with no central exchange authority. Chainalysis explains that's because DeFi is such a fast-growing segment of the cryptocurrency environment, and many developers just haven't put into place enough security, even as many investors are piling in without doing enough of their own homework on the services themselves. Now, overall, a stunning $14 billion from all sources, including ransomware, terror financing, darknet markets, and others, went to illicit addresses last year, according to Chainalysis. They were also able to calculate the total crypto war chest that's now held by illicit addresses that are associated with criminal activity. That figure, $10 billion worth. It's fueled by the crimes themselves, but also the increasing value of the criminal's crypto assets. Chainalysis says the fact that the public and law enforcement can see those funds on the blockchain is actually good news. Sometimes you might think that if you've been hacked or a victim of a ransomware attack, those funds are gone. But actually, we can see them sitting over there in that wallet. And we might be able to see which exchange they go to, and then you can freeze the funds. <clears throat> Now, one other piece of good news here. Even as the total crypto thefts are increasing dramatically, the percentage of overall crypto activity associated with crime is coming down. And that's because of the enormous increase in legitimate crypto transactions. So as legitimate crypto grows, crime is growing as well, but not as big in terms of a proportion of the overall activity, guys. Back over to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.